As you well know, the manufacturing world is changing at a constant pace. Companies like this need to remain competitive. If not, they risk being left behind. So we're here to find out the main reasons why this company, DP Engineering, are not just surviving, but thriving. We found a really big shift in uh, the industry with the other competitors be also investing in technology. Um, customers looking for alternative source, dual source. So we've really looked at the automation side to be able to maintain our rates. So we've replaced three machines for one spindle. It's automated, it's gantry loaded, it's got new technology. Floor space is absolutely fantastic and they're a great price. DP Engineering, we're a subcontract precision engineering company based down in lovely Cornwall. Um, we're going since 1952, specialising in turn and mill components. We do a lot of work for the aerospace, oil and gas, medical, defence sectors, and we really, really strive on our relationships and trusted partnerships with our customers. So the team at DP Engineering, we've, we've taken the automation route. So we've invested heavily into Muratech lathes. Um, so we've looked at how we can take that role of uh, an operator having to stand at a machine load a billet into machine we've now looked at how can we automate that make the job a lot more attractive get that skill a lot different um, we can train a lot different as well um, and we can have less people running multiple spindles so with the mirror techs that we've got in this section here we've got six spindles currently run by two operators so our output's a lot better so we're we've been able to increase our capacity to match our customer demands so our machine shop we we really try and focus on the less handling the better so we don't want to handle the components as, as more than we have to. So we've got a bank of sliding heads, so they're all bar fed. We've got MX330, again, pallet loaded. So where we can, we've tried to remove the operator having to load the machine and that kind of boring part of operating. You can now focus on the more of the critical side of the process, look at lean manufacturing, look at all the inspection process controls. So this, we've really tried to build an automated cell that can really use as little people as possible and we're really trying to tap into that um, super automated cell environment where hopefully you'll see the green lights are on and there's not many people here. Initially at the moment we're really starting to see a lot more competitive than us in with the rise of price increases. So we're being challenged by our customers to reduce prices, can we get a better price to be more efficient. We're seeing increases across the board with electric, uh, water, gas, the, the generic stuff that everyone gets increased by. So we're really, really seeing that pinch. So the fact that we've been investing in the automation side, we've been able to kind of stalemate that across the, uh, the board for DP. So we've, we've used these Muratech lathes to take a traditional lathe and mill cell. So where we had uh, an operator would uh, single piece flow, uh, turn and then, and then mill the components. We've now used these machine complete uh, machines uh, to, to get a, comp a component in one hit. So it's a lot more reliable, it's a lot more repeatable. The tolerances are, again, more achievable and we're able to increase our capacity. So we're, we're, we're currently running 65, 70% available full capacity in the business and that's by bringing these machines in. So we've been able to tap into that unmanned capacity. Um, now I say unmanned, someone's had to set that up. It's not just press a green button. We've done all the, the critical dimension um, analysis. We've done to make sure that the machines are capable. We've got all the tool studies. But when we leave it tonight, we're getting on average six to eight hours on man running. So we've got that three hours that we can now tap into. When you're next looking to buy a machine tool, you might go to one, two, maybe even three machine tool suppliers. Now, DP Engineering didn't do that. They bought all four of these machines based on a previous proven relationship. We didn't look at others. Um, so we, Matsu are UK. Um, we've got a very good relation with those guys. Um, so they, they offered one of these machines doing uh, typical products that we uh, currently make for the oil and gas industry and aerospace industry. So we've seen what they could all, already do. So after seeing them in the flesh at Matsura, we were sitting there and the, um, we were having lunch and the, the gantries were just going back and forwards and we, was, we sat there and going, the machines are still running but we're having lunch and that's where our available capacity is then going to be um, um, inputted. So the, the biggest change with what we've got here in the, with these machines is 
they do come with a bar feed option. We went with the gantry loaded, so it's billet driven. So you can load a carousel up with billets. You've got a gantry from either side, so you can pick the pillar up, put it into the machine, you can unload it. So you, you've got a fully automated system where you don't have to touch a bullet until it comes out the other end. I think the biggest thing why we got the MWRs was with the milling capability. So for us, we've taken away that milling cell now and we've been able to do the turning and milling into one machine. So the milling functions within the machine has been fantastic. The size of the machines, so uh, footprint wise, you're getting a lot for your money. Um, so we'll be able to get, we've replaced one machine for three machines. As a supplier to some of the primes in the aerospace sector, this company pride themselves on reliable machining. So next time you're on a flight somewhere, just think that one of the components that made that aeroplane are made right here at DP Engineering.